today we're going to go through the process of building this neat little C table, or side table, whatever you want to call it, that goes over the side of your couch. These came from Amazon and are a pretty good price in my book. I honestly could not build them from raw materials for less. Let's go ahead and unbox everything that's in here. When I saw the box on my porch, I was pretty surprised that they fit both side tables into this one tiny box, but they managed to do it and nothing was damaged. Everything is clearly labeled, which makes for a quick and easy install. We're going to start off with having everything sorted by their respective parts and follow the instruction guide for how everything is supposed to go together. Step 1 has us assembling the legs and base. Secure bases B and D together and C and E together by sliding them into each other and secure them with two screws from package M. The R that's on the package is for the Allen key. When starting the screws, you may have a slight bit of trouble. If so, turn the screws backwards or counterclockwise until you feel it catch on the threads inside of the hole and then continue to screw it in. That should allow you to screw it in securely without cross-threading anything. Gently tighten down the screws, making sure not to over tighten them and strip them out. Once both legs are built, go ahead and attach them to the tabletop itself, which is piece A, loosely with two screws from bag N. Make sure to not tighten these two screws down just as of yet. Once the two legs are loosely attached, go ahead and grab piece F, the small square sock, and attach it to the top of piece A with a screw from bag N. Again, do not tighten the screw down as of yet. Once piece F is attached, grab two more screws from bag N and attach them through the sides of the two legs into piece F. Tighten these two screws down gently and then get all three pieces even on piece A, and you can gently tighten the three screws down to more securely attach them. The instructions say to not tighten them down yet, but it is actually fine to do so.
The next piece we need to loosely attach is the electrical board support, which is piece H. You could actually swap steps 5 and 6 and potentially have an easier time attaching everything, but we're going to follow the instructions for this video. Make sure that piece H has the metal fasteners facing the outside of the table and use four screws from bag P to loosely attach board H to the frame of the table. Definitely do not tighten these down or there's a 0% chance the next piece will fit in for you. Speaking of the next piece, the next step attaches pieces K and the fabric mesh, which has the pockets, to the frame. Start off with feeding the two K rods through the top and bottom of the fabric, making sure that the pockets are going down towards the bottom of the frame, and begin lining up the rods with the four holes in the frame. Again, do not tighten these four screws until you have all four started. Also, the four screws that go into the rods do not fully <laughs> tighten down because one side will always spin and this is fine. Tightening them down anyway would likely strip out the center thread, so we don't want to do that. Once the rods are in and tightened down as far as they'll go, go ahead and tighten down piece H in the four screws that went into that. Now I will admit I did get a little impatient and jump forward here and attach the electrical board to piece H. Use the two O screws to attach it to the back of the H board and tighten them down. It's now time to move on to the last bit of the build here. 
attaching the two G-tubes to the bottom of the table. Now you'll see me use a bit of force to attach the back tube in, and this could be avoided by loosening the screws around the fabric rods, but I wanted a tighter fit so it would hold in the frame without an extra set of hands. Once you have piece G slid into the frame, use two end screws on each to go in from the side and securely attach them to the frame of the table. You obviously want to put in the back G piece first and not the front one as it will make the back piece way too tight to get in and adjust if you do that. Once both G pieces are in and tightened down, go ahead and grab the four rubber feet and attach them to the four spots at the bottom of the frame. I personally recommend putting them all the way down to the frame and adjusting them later if you need to do so for where you put the table. The last thing we need to do before we move it to where it needs to go and plug it in is tie the two straps on the pocket mesh to the frame of the table. Ignore the fact that I'm terrible at tying bows. I actually couldn't tie my shoes until I was like 10 years old or something. I don't remember the exact age, but it was definitely old for a kid. And that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. As always, if you like the content I'm putting out, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all new content as it comes out. And also a quick shout out and thank you to our channel member, Dobby Lapuz, and thank you for your continued support. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.